Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Okay, I'm gonna whine about the weather a little bit. It was supposed to be warm this week, although raining. It's been all over the place. Yesterday, it was also supposed to, like, tornado and storm and be crazy, windy, devastating storms and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't plan anything. I didn't go anywhere. I sat inside pretty much all day. And what happened? Nothing. It didn't rain all day. I mean, the sun didn't come out, but it was still like in the 60s. So I didn't want to get my stuff packed up and go outside and get somewhere and have it start raining. Because, I mean, it was supposed to be really bad. Like, they warned, like, horrible thunderstorms, a lot of lightning and all that kind of stuff. Nothing. Yesterday's video, which had nothing to do with me in that I didn't shoot any of the footage. I got all that footage from Storyblocks. I figured I paid for it. I might as well start using it. And I started in my mind with what I wanted to find. So I just started putting in search terms and finding all these videos and then scrolling through them all. And I thought, okay, I think I can throw that all together. And I had a concept in my mind. And really the idea was that it was showing how, you know, the whole rise and grind thing. So I started with a sunrise and then I showed people on the highway and, and all that kind of stuff. And then office workers and construction workers and all that stuff, you know, just constantly grinding and working and all that kind of stuff. But then I switched it and it became kids playing and, you know, old friends hanging out and couples together, just enjoying being together. Sort of towards the end there, the last little bit that I wanted to show was, you know, roses, just sort of a scan by roses. I had intended to do a voiceover and I was going to, you know, sort of do what I just did here, but I wasn't feeling it. And I thought, okay, now I got to play around with the volume on the on the music and everything because I thought I found a good song, and it just I was like, okay, yeah, I, I think the voiceover is going to be a really bad idea. And I was, you know, at the time I was trying to come up with the words in my head of, of like what would I be saying, and it just it just turned out that I thought that that I wanted to do it visually rather than auditorily. So I didn't do any of the voiceover stuff, and I just let the the clips speak for themselves. Now. That led me to another predicament in that I'm a shitty editor. I've said this before. I, I have it in my head that I don't like editing, be it video or still pictures. So I, I sort of block myself and I, I don't really spend a lot of time learning anything new. I am a horse with blinders and I've picked up what I've picked up so that I can do what I do and that's about it. But that's not getting me forward and up at all. That's just me doing the same shitty cuts and throwing it together and slapping a song on it now and being done with it. And I, I felt like that's that's not good either. I, you know, I didn't want to do that. So I started playing around and now when I watch videos or movies or anything like that, I'm always pretty impressed with, with the editing and all that kind of stuff and, and how they get the cuts just right and it matches up with the music and the crescendos and the drum hits and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, okay, I should be able to do that. Yesterday showed me just how crappy my editing really is. And I was like, oh my God, this is like, this is a nightmare. This is, this is taking me forever. And every time I kind of get the clips where I wanted them to be and the length I wanted them to be, and then I was trying to match it up with the music and all that kind of stuff, I'd have to make another cut to get it to fit right. If something goes, and I'll say wrong, because I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know how to recover from that other than deleting everything and starting over. Like I have gotten to that point a couple times. Like when I was trying to do multicam, I had a real hard time and the, I would end up like splitting the multi multicam clip into its components and I could never get them to go back. And then it started to become a nightmare of trying to edit that stuff. And I'd end up like, all right, fuck it. It's just easier for me to delete it and start over again, you know? And I'm pissed off and I go back and I put it in there and I try to remember where I had my cuts and everything. And I go that way, but it's not the right way to do it. So yesterday taught me that I really need to start investing time into learning how to edit properly. The biggest problem I had was with the audio. The song was almost four minutes long. My video is only like, what, two and a half minutes? So I had to cut a, a chunk of the song out, but still have it end the way that I intended the video to end. 
So I'm looking at peaks and, you know, valleys and peaks and everything, and I'm thinking, okay, that looks like a good spot to hit it, and I do it, and I, I drag it over, and it just wouldn't sound right. And I could never get my mousing wheel and, and fingers to do what was necessary to get the music to end, but pick up at the right spot. And, and then at one point, and don't even ask me what I did, it ended up splitting the audio. And there were two, two different audio tracks, but the same audio. And then there were these bars that were moving around and, and no matter what I did, I couldn't get out of that. I had to delete the audio entirely and bring it back into the, into the project and start over again. And, you know, I know that I don't know what I'm doing and that doing it the way that I did it was absolutely 100% dumbass wrong. And again, I need to learn how to do that better. I'm starting to find as I travel along this road that at first when I didn't want to just slap a song over any of my videos because I felt that a lot of creators were literally, you know, everybody's plugging art list, everyone's plugging epidemic sound and all that kind of stuff. And they were just picking a song, throwing it over. Most of the times it was too loud. So you couldn't hear them. It was incredibly aggravating and everybody was doing that. And I didn't like it. So I wasn't going to do it. So that's why a lot of my videos up until maybe the past couple weeks, few weeks, whatever, all of my videos didn't have music, rarely. That's why yesterday I was like, you know what? I'm going to get everything from Storyblocks and I'm going to pick a song from Epidemic Sound. I'm going to throw that all together and I'm going to edit this thing together and it's going to be good. All of this goes to me saying that I need to commit to learning how to edit better. And that includes both video and audio. The biggest problem that I have is technology. Technology just moves so quickly that a lot of the classes that I had gone through, and we're talking months ago, and, and selected, they, they're not going to pertain anymore because the software has changed that much, I think. So I'm going to have to go through and start learning how to do audio and video editing. And I also got to the point where, I mean, I was actually having fun, you know, creating this video. So, you know, it was like I was creating a music video. I, like, I really got into it. And in a way, I was enjoying it because it was all new and it was like, oh, wow, you know, this is cool. Until I hit the parts where I just messed everything up and didn't know how to recover from it. And I also know that I'm doing things the hard way. Really, what I wanted to get down to was saying that the video yesterday, while it wasn't a masterpiece and isn't something that's going to go up on a music channel or anything like that, for me, it was a milestone because I was able to take somebody else's footage, somebody else's music, and cut it together and make a half decent music video, so to speak, and, and get across what I wanted to get across without having to say a word. I'm taking it as a win. It's at least a stepping stone, a start to where I want to start ending up, or at least in the direction I'm going. So that's what I wanted to talk about. I sort of wanted to recap what I did with that video yesterday and why it's got the melon flowing into the direction I want to go into. That's all I've got for you today. I just wanted to talk about that. If you have any comments, suggestions, critiques, whatever, as always, leave them down in the comments. And thank you for joining me. As always, like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.